Hi, I'm Terry Hutchins from allhoosiers.com. With me, Justin Albers, our intern, Nathan Brown. Indiana gets beat 73-56 today at Assembly Hall against Michigan State, number five team in the nation. So, several themes in this game, but the one, I guess, that jumped out at me was just the small margin of error that this team has. Uh, you can't miss free throws against a team like Michigan State. You can't uh, have so many unforced turnovers, only 15, you say only, but uh, I, I just thought that I mean, it was those kinds of things that really hurt him today. Yeah, I mean, I think there was one particular stretch in this game that really decided it, and that was late in the first half. Indiana's with, within one or two points. Adrian Payne, Keith Appling, Travis Trice all have two fouls from Michigan State and go to the bench, and it's at the four-minute timeout. Yogi Ferrell comes out for Indiana, and he had scored 10 of their first 16 points, had four of their first six field goals. And that was kind of a significant stretch. You need to make up ground during that stretch and hopefully go into the half with a lead. They didn't do it, went into the half down by nine, missed two front front ends of one and ones during that stretch. You mentioned the free throws. So down by nine at home to Michigan State, I mean, they made some runs in the second half, but the game was virtually over at that point because Indiana – unlike last year, can't make outside shots to get itself back in the game. And so when you're down by nine to a team like Michigan State that has so much talent and throws so much at you, the game's pretty much over at that point. Every time Indiana fans see Gary Harris play, it's a bad memory anyway of, of not getting him in the recruiting process. He has 40 points in two games against them last year, has the career high 26 a day. Uh, it seemed like, uh, I mean, Coach Crean talked about how he was hunting shots. He really seemed to be in a rhythm and being able to knock down, do whatever he wanted to do. And there were some points even where he was able to get some open shots where Crean said that, you know, they really just messed up on some, you know, defensive opportunities and left him wide open from three, which you can't, of course, do. But, I mean, yeah, there were definitely some points where, you know, you saw him spot up from three and you knew it was going in halfway into the game. Um, he started just as hot, if not hotter, than Yogi. Um, had I think 11 of their first 17 points and really you know got them going and and kept the momentum going where Yogi kind of slowed down a bit in the second half. 0-2 in the Big Ten Uh, going on the road next they have a week before they play Penn State then they play Wisconsin here which is going to be really tough Uh, I mean how do you think this team bounces back? I mean, it's going to be tough. I, I think fans were hit with a hard dose of reality today and in particular because I can't remember the last time people were clearing out of Assembly Hall because they were down by so many points with five or six minutes left in the game. I mean, that hasn't happened in years since uh, before they turned this thing around. So Crean uh, talked about in his post-game press conference, you can't have the small errors. You've got to capitalize on momentum. And that's, a te- that's something that this young team hasn't been able to do. There was times when Troy Williams took un- unforced or – Shots he didn't need to take. Three-pointers, that's not his game. Um, had people in foul trouble, got to take it to the rim. So I think next week at Penn State, it's not, I mean, there's no easy, easy game for any team in the Big Ten, but especially an Indiana team that's so up and down. So they're going to have to attack the rim early, get a lead on Penn State, or else that could be a 0-3 start, and that's exactly what you don't need right now. One more thing, Noah Vonley. No points, no shots, mm-hmm. no free throws in the second half. Coach Crean talked about how he needs to demand the ball more, but that clearly is something this team needs to do. Yeah, Crean was a little reluctant to use the word selfish, that Noah Vonley needs to play more selfishly in the paint and demand the ball. Sheehy mentioned it in the press conference as well. But that's something, you know, when they opened the game with the bucket from him, uh, when he made a hook shot on Adrian Payne, I really kind of thought that that was a sign that maybe he would start the game off well in the paint. IU got out-rebounded, out-scored in the paint and Vinley was a big part of that. That's it for us today from Assembly Hall, where Indiana loses to Michigan State 73-56 to uh, from, with Justin Albers, Nathan Brown. Uh, we'll have probably a lot of coverage here in the next 24 hours, um, not just on this game, or, uh, I mean, not just today, but also tomorrow we'll do more. We'll have a live chat tomorrow during uh, Snow, Snowmageddon when it hits uh, uh, Indiana, and uh, so... You know, continue to follow our coverage, and we'll see you next time.